Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today we are playing around with Kyan the Fire Vagabond. This guy, straight out, I'm gonna say, is not going to be a very crazy unit or it's gonna be the one that you have to build, but it's gonna be the kind of unit that you should build because he serves a very particular purpose. That if you have him, it's gonna be easy for you to deal with a certain unit. Second Awakening will provide him with immunity in skill 3 and some sort of life drain in the skill 2 but this is very very negligible you don't have to care about this the most important part about this guy is the immunity in skill 3 and the provoke is 100% and it's not an attack which means you can provoke unit that is water or you can provoke unit that is under glancing magical passive just fine aka Vigor and Kakarno. The build I have for him today is Vile Will, Speed, HP, HP. You can roll Triple HP. I recommend going for Will because you don't want to get Defense Break turn 1 and die. If you don't have Violent, you can go for Will, Double Revenge because the moment you enter this state, you're going to be very, very tanky. So I think this guy is going to be super good into this very particular defense, the Kakarno Vigor Triana. They don't have any Strip. They have two damage deal that will focus on Kayan and Kayan with the immunity and the defense buff is going to tank them just fine. You might be wondering, yo, Kakano hit through defense buff anyway, but without the defense break and two healer in your team, there's no way a Kakano should be able to kill you that easily. And Kakano will not really focus on the water unit unless your water unit get absolutely shit on by Triana. Which might happen as well, but if you bring in two healer like this, there shouldn't be much of a problem in terms of trying to sustain the damage coming out from Triana. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're getting a little bit attacked right here. <laughs> Let's try to put attack break on this guy, try to do some damage as well. The good thing is, the defense break is not gonna land or stay forever. It's gonna be a one turn defense break. And as long as you control one of the damage deal on the other side or provoke them with Kayan like this, I think you're going to be okay. So it's going to be another option for your adventure against Kakano in Guild, War, Guild Siege. Because let's be real, they are pretty much everywhere. So come to us is not going to nerf Kakano and Vega in Guild defense, but at least they will probably give you another option to deal with them. So we finished the Kakano quickly with a defense breaker like Kayan. Shouldn't be a big problem. And we move on to destroying the rest of the enemy team. So if you don't want to build another Windy, another Sin, another Tractor, you can try building another Kayan. And the thing about using Kayan as a tank in your team for the, for the Vigor is that he can defense break every single turn with a pretty good chance to defense break. And he tank, I would say, way better compared to Sin because he has def self-defense buff and his base stat is definitely way better as well. And the Provoke is going to help you to, to deal with the damage from Triana once in a while. So it's more like a combination between Sin and Tractor, I would say, because Sin can defense break, but Tractor can Provoke. So if you combine these two units, you have Kayan, who cannot be defense broken because of self-immunity and tankiness with defense buff, and the Provoke of Tractor. It feels like this is a combination of those two units that people use a lot for their Guild Siege offense because they're pretty good. But of course you can't compare like the fact that they can't be defense broken because there's gonna be defense with Stripper, like Chilling. And this guy is gonna be food to Chilling because Chilling gonna take all that buff in one turn and it will make Kayan pretty much kind of useless. So he's really good when enemy doesn't run any stripper that target him in particular. You see this? So I think I think he's not bad in this particular situation. Of course, he's not like, whoa, you know, like you saw Gina and like my blown. Like this guy is okay. So if you want to build him to serve this very particular purpose right here, then I think you should. Unfortunately, this defense is also very popular and you just can't use Kai in here because he's going to get stolen. His buff is going to get stolen by Chilling and he's not going to do anything whatsoever. He's going to defense broken by Kakano and then he's going to die. You see this? Yeah. 
<laughs> Even though he's really good into Vigor, he's not exactly that good into um into chilling. But I think whenever you see a Vigor on defense, this guy's gonna be great. And I used Sin in the past before the Fire Martial Artist. He's immune to defense break. He's a very good Vigor tank, but the base stat is very limited. And even though you cannot be defense broken. The raw damage coming out from Vigor and whatever comes with Vigor in the Giwa defense is still gonna be a big problem to deal with because of just raw damage and additional damage artifact as well that doesn't really care about your defense stats. So it can still be scary to use Sin, but because this guy is so tanky and he provides this consistent provoke and consistent defense break, I think you can give him a shot. And you, if you really hate building that sin, but you like the look of the Vagabond, then I think this is definitely the guy that you want to give it a try for. Oh my god. But I would love to see him get some sort of attack bar mechanic though, to make him like really, really good, right? Like right here, if he can gain some sort of attack bar, like if you land provoke or you miss provoke, you land some attack bar increasing effect. Then I think it's gonna be it's gonna be an absolutely amazing time for this guy. Because he has very terrible base speed. So he's not gonna move that often, right? Even though he has short cooldown, I would still want him to move a bit more often. And maybe most people would not build on violent as well. You wanna build him on like some real revenge kind of deal. Because your more important violent rune should be somewhere else. And the rune that you have on him will be like leftover destroy, revenge, and will. Then he's not gonna get violent proc to get his cooldown down. <laughs> so some sort of attack bargain. Like you don't need like instant turn like Jean that's kind of cheating. But some sort of attack bargain will be insane. Because when he violent proc, the cooldown can be really short. It's only three turn. So it's it's really nice on violent. It's just that. You're not going to put violent on him. Let's be real, right? I'm, I'm trying to show him in the best light possible. So we got some violent set on him that looks pretty good and, and fast. But in re reality, it's not going to happen. And man, all these Vagabond, they just they just do no damage whatsoever. I don't know how Vega can do so much damage. <laughs> it's so annoying. V Vega is so nice. Oh, the werewolf can be pretty nice. Not really, though. I think some of the werewolf are pretty trash. Like the fire werewolf compared to this guy. I would take Fire Vagabond over Fire Werewolf any day because at least the Vagabond is providing some sort of team synergy with defense break and provoke. So I would say he's not bad. Or maybe give him revenge buff here for one turn. Maybe give him revenge buff for one turn in skill three so you don't have to run him on revenge and he's still gonna get some defense break done. That's gonna be really nice. You can definitely use him against Molong as well, but. Molon doesn't really give a shit about your your defense buff whatsoever. You you can't get defense broken by Molong for sure. But Molong does raw damage, so it's kinda hard to tank all of that in. You know what I'm saying? Like this. <laughs> we got some damage destruction against the water, so we can take that hit just fine. But for the most part, Molong will just go straight for your HP. And Molong can strip as well, be it not very consistent, but Molong can definitely go for a quick strip. Oh, then strip right here. Good, 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 good. But Alfran is in a lot of trouble trying to stay alive. Look at that provoke and the defense break support. Okay, you know what? When you provoke Molong successfully, then that's a huge plus because one of the biggest things about Molong is also the every turn defense break that he can give out to the enemy but with with the self buff scenario here we are looking mighty fine against molong yeah and we can have oh i should have oh <laughs> violent proc we can violent proc and defense break so it's not bad you know what i thought it's gonna be kind of shit against molong but because we had artifact on this guy minus 15 percent damage from water we can take the reckless oh my god Oh my god. <gasps> oh, the defense buff keep us alive, boys. Let's go. Can I defense break? Alright, that's... Oh wait, he stripped my thing, right? Somebody stripped my immunity. 
but because we have immunity right here, we're going to be just fine. We can provoke as well. Yeah, some sort of... I really want him to either have self-healing, not the stupid skill to... Not this recover, whatever. He doesn't do damage. Let's be real here. I want him to have some sort of like self-healing. <laughs> yeah, Molon doesn't give a shit about, about this guy tankiness. Only Vigor scare him. I mean, only Vigor is scared of him. But Molon doesn't give a shit. Like, you need two healers if you want to tank the Molon. Because there's still a lot of Molon on Arena. I mean, guild defense. Bro, it's so slow. There's still a lot of Molong on guild defense because Molong is just a everything combined together kind of unit. So you're going to get hit by this. And there's going to be some sort of follow-up after the Molong. And I guess with the defense buff, he's going to be a pretty good tank for whatever that follow-up might be. But you do need a strong healer on your team to make sure that he's not going to be in the kill range for Molong to abuse, right? Because Molong's going to keep hitting him to try and defense break him. And that is not going to happen. I hope so. Like, Molong can strip and follow up into the defense break. You never know. But this, I guess is pretty good tank for molong Perna combination. But when it's molong Wusa, like the molong Wusa combination, is quite scary for this guy. Because molong Wusa follow up, you can't tank that, which is... With, with your defense buff and immunity, you can only tank that with good artifacts and maybe a Triana or some sort of healing in between. Okay, can I defense break this guy? Okay. Okay. <laughs> then maybe in this situation, he's not so bad. He is okay-ish. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm trying to justify for this guy is so bad. Like, I don't know. I guess I have a soft spot for for the design of this guy. He, he looks so cool, right? With the great sword, with the whole cape vibe going on. Like, he looks real, real cool. And the damage, the, the animation made me feel like he's going to do a whole lot of damage, but he does no damage whatsoever. So I'm really trying to justify for this guy. Like, I like Roy a lot. I just like Vagabond. I just have a soft spot for get Vagabond, man. Since the... First day of the game, when I look at the unit, I'm like, oh, like he can be something different. But because they're they're also bad and two star unit and all that stuff, I, he he looked like the main character of this game. You know, the adventure, that the guy who traveled through Sky Arena to to explore the world. What am I talking about? <laughs> Maybe that's why I I want him to be strong. I want them all to be strong. They look like Dragon Knight. That didn't slay dragon yet. <laughs> they just knight. Oh my god. How do we kill this thing? Can we kill this thing? We actually can't kill this thing. It's gonna be here forever. But you know what I'm talking about. You, you're gonna tank Molong and Vega. Alright guys, that was a little Kyan showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know you're building this guy down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.